I live my life a quarter mile at a time. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. It all started in the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California, where a team of illegal street racers was quickly gaining notoriety for a series of successful road heists. Undercover LAPD officer Brian O'Connor makes his way into the illegal racing scene where he meets Dom Toretto, his sister Mia, and his girlfriend Letty. Go! Dude, I almost had you. You never had me. You never had your car. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. As Brian continues his investigation and further immerses himself in the crew, it becomes clear that Dom is the mastermind behind the heist. As Dom's crew attempts their biggest job yet, Brian decides where his loyalties lie, and an unbreakable brotherhood is formed. Now a fugitive, Brian travels to Miami, where he joins the local street racing scene, run by mechanic Tej Parker. All right, all right, all right, fire him up! Brian gets caught, but he's offered a deal. The only way I'll do this is if I get to pick the driver. He enlists the help of an old friend, Roman Pierce. So you're gonna clean my record and get this thing off my ankle. Together, they return to Miami. We hungry. And successfully carry out their plan. And we ain't hungry no more either, bruh. Meanwhile, Dom and Letty flee the country and exchange vows. Dom assembles a crew for a new job, bringing in his trusted friend, Han. After the score, with authorities closing in, the crew scatters. Dom's worst nightmare comes true. Dom and Brian reunite. They meet drug cartel liaison Giselle Yashar, and her loyalties quickly shift. He saved my life. I'm willing to return the favor. Dominic eventually finds Letty's killer and takes him out. Refusing to leave Brian behind, Dom is arrested and sentenced to 25 to life. Brian, Mia, and what remains of Dom's team refuse to let Dom rot in jail. They reconvene in Rio and cross paths with corrupt politician Hernan Reyes. I like it when all parties know what they're up against. Dom's crew lands on the radar of DSS agent Luke Hobbs and local police officer Elena Neves. And above all else, we don't ever let them get in the car. Dom and his crew plan a heist. Money will come and go. The most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Salute me, familia. Before the job can go down, Hobbs arrests the crew. Ambush! When the dust settles, Hobbs and Elena decide to join in Dom's heist. I'll ride with you, Toretto. In their most daring score yet, the team secures Reyes' vault, which pisses him off in the process. Reyes and his men catch up to the crew and an all-out war wages. <laughs> Reyes' time has come. The way I see it, you burn yourself 24 hours. So where to now? I don't know. I thought you wanted to go to Tokyo. We'll get there. But in this life, it's never quiet for long. It wasn't that hard to find you, Toretto. This was taken a week ago. Hobbs returns with a mission and a miracle. It's impossible. The team heads to London, determined to bring Letty back to the family. Our target's Owen Shaw, former major in the SAS Spec Ops soldier. We talking vehicular warfare. But bringing Letty home is not without its challenges. Just because you know how I ride doesn't mean you know me. The crew closes in on Owen, but he's one step ahead. Uh, guys, we gotta come up with another plan. They got a tank. It's mayhem as Owen attempts to make his escape. And the crew suffers a great loss. Kidneys! But eventually, Dom's family pulls through. After losing Giselle, Han makes his way to Tokyo. He meets a young American and teaches him the art of the drift. There's no wax on, wax off for drifting. Learn by doing it. First drifters invented drifting out here in the mountains by feeling it. So feel it. But Owen Shaw's brother, Deckard Shaw, has a bone to pick with Dom and his crew. And the first person he comes for is Han. Dominic Toretto. You don't know me. You're about to. Back in Los Angeles, 
Deckard has a message for Dom. And now, Dom is coming for revenge. When you find that son bitch, don't miss. Mr. Nobody enters the picture, bringing Dom a new mission. A hacker known only by the name Ramsey has created God's Eye. If it's got a microphone or a lens, God's Eye can use it to find you. Dom and his family go to work. You need some fresh air? Because you're about to get a whole lot of it. Locating Ramsey, rescuing her, and bringing her into the family. I don't have friends. I got family. Ramsey is able to find Decker. And the team returns to LA for a final showdown. The street always wins. With the family mostly intact, it's time for Brian to retire. It's never goodbye. And you'll always be my brother. Dom and Letty head to Havana on their honeymoon. He knows it doesn't matter what's under a hood. The only thing that matters is who's behind the wheel. But their vacation comes crashing to a halt when Cypher gets involved. You see, your team is about to go up against the only thing they can't handle, you. You gonna turn your back on family? Cypher steals the god's eye, and then Dom visits Elena in captivity, where she reveals a shocking truth. Papa. With family on both sides, Dom is divided and Cypher makes him pay the ultimate price for his hesitation. And Dom will turn to the most unlikely person for help. I can't believe you want to see my mother. After an all-out assault on ice, Dom and his family take out Cypher's son. Dom, Letty, and little Brian escape to a life of tranquility, but danger never stays at bay. Our plane is under attack by a rogue agent. Who is he? Jacob is Dom's brother. The brother you're looking for? He's long gone. All I see is the same scared little kid that killed our father. And the fallen sometimes return. Mr. Nobody had a way of making things look real. The family attempts to stop Jacob's master plan. We're in outer space! And it's Mia who gets through to Jacob. Dom has a chance at reconciliation. Once again, repairing the family. And continuing into the future, stronger than ever. That's the problem with having such a big family. How do you choose the ones you save? Stop! You made one mistake. You never took my car.